A'udzu billahi minasy syaithanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Al hayyu alladzi la yamut. Khalaqana fa ahyana mundhu nu'mati adfarina ila yaumina hadha. Wada'na jalla sha'nuhu fi dunya wa ma tarakana hamala bal arsala ilaina al mustafa muhammadun sallallahu alaihi wa sallam bashiran wa nadhiran wa rahmatan lil alamin adda al amana wa ballagha al risala wa nasaha al umma wa tarakaha ala mahajjati al bayda laylaha ka nahariha la yazigu anha illa halik Allahumma salli wa sallim ala abdika wa rasulika Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Ayuhal ikhwa wal akhawat ittaqu allaha haqqa tukatihi wa kunu bisharihi mutamasikin wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. حيث قال في محكم تنزيله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أيها المستمعون الكرام ما هذه الدنيا ما هذه الحياة الدنيا مهما طالت ومهما ارتقى الإنسان فيها ومهما أحسن إلى غيره إلا كلمح البصر قضية الموت لا بد منها ما من حي إلا وسيموت هناك قدر من العمر قد يكون لحظة وقد يستمر سنوات قد مضى من العمر ما مضى فالسؤال الوحيد أوجهه إليك هل بقي من الحياة ما مضى بقدر ما مضى ما مضى مضى كلمح البصر والذي بقي سيمضي أيضا كلمح البصر ثم يحاسب الإنسان أمام ربه يقول عز وجل في محكم تنزيله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور وعن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال صلى الله عليه وسلم أكثروا ذكر هادم اللذات أخرجه الترمذي أيها الإخوة قد يتعجب الإنسان من موت شخص دون شخص لحسنه وفضله إلى الناس لكن الله تعالى يقول في محكم تنزيله عسى أن تكرهوا شيئا وهو خير لكم وعسى أن تحبوا شيئا وهو شر لكم والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون البقرة بعد موت الإنسان المؤمن يبقى وراءه أناس أحياء من الأقارب والأحباء يبكون من الحزن يبكون على فراش الميت ولكن روحه منعمة ثبت عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن عتبان بن مالك أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الله تعالى قد حرم, قد حرم على النار من قال لا إله إلا الله يبتغي بذلك وجه الله 
All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May his peace and blessings be bestowed upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one who fought tooth and nail for Islam to get to every corner of the world. I request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow his, his full blessings and mercy onto his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and whoever is to follow his footsteps till the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. I bear full witness that none is worthy being worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whoever is worshipping anything else, we consider that the highest level of oppression. O believers, brothers and sisters in Islam, I urge you all to be Allah conscious. It's because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us in the Holy Quran. O you who believe, live as Muslims, behave as Muslims, and consider requesting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, supplicating to him not to take you, pass you away, not until, or maybe not until you are among the believers. This evening, inshallah, I wanted us to discuss about a fact that is bitter. If you're alive, you know that death is a fact. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested us human beings, whoever is still alive, with the fact of death. We all know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and put us onto this earth. And with our being alive, Allah also created death as a fact. Anyone who is alive must test death. Your age you're in right now. You're alive for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and above years. The one question is, are you sure what you've lived, you're to live it again? If you're 20 years, are you sure you still have some 20 more years on earth? If you're 60, are you sure you still have 60 years on earth? Considering that fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed onto us, whoever is living, they must test death. As a human being, at times we find it very bad. At times a human being becomes too emotional as they lose their loved ones, as they lose their parents, as they lo lose brothers, sisters, friends. At times it's hard. It's a bad experience for them to go through that. But then that's a bitter fact. All of us are going to go through that. What normally confuses me? If at all, logically, we would find sense in dying, it wouldn't have made sense for some people dying and others are still alive. You all know that if your parent is dead, they were practicing Muslims, they were nice people, Everyone wouldn't wish them to die. But Allah decided, and he was like, I need them to me. And they are no more right now. If at all it was you to consider who to die, at least I know that you have better options to choose who to die and who not to die. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran was like, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الذي خلق الموت والحياة Allah is the one who created death and life ليبلوكم ما يكم أحسن عمل Just to test us If at all you know that you're going to die tomorrow Maybe you are alive today But tomorrow you might not be there 
that alone is a factor for a Muslim believer to consider behaving well and practicing good. Ayyukum ahsanu amala. It's unfair for someone who knows the fact of death to consider not behaving well. It's unfair for someone who knows the death as a fact to not consider behaving well within the society. Why? That's the sole reason as to why death is there. If you know that tomorrow you won't be around, that alone is enough for you to be a good Muslim, to be a good practicing Muslim. And it's a fact. I want to share this with you. Personally, people die. We all know. I'm not the only one that has lost people. At least I'm sure if you're here and you're listening to this, you've lost someone. In any position, maybe they were parents. Maybe they were children. Maybe they were friends. But you know what that means? That should be a lesson for us all. And I want to dedicate today's someone to anyone that is being tested by any loss of someone. Most especially if they are believers. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knew that death being a fact, it might be a factor for us Muslims who are still alive to take it as a refreshing factor for us to be better people. And that's why in an authentic tradition, Prophet was like, Akthiru, please, if you're a Muslim, you have to oftenly remember death. Because if you remember death, you're going to treasure the relationship you're having with your other Muslim. If you consider remembering death, you won't waste time uniting, being a good Muslim with your parents. Because at least you know, tomorrow they won't be there. Tomorrow you won't be there. And the fact that you treated them well might help you to be sure that probably heal from the experience, emotional depression you're in just because of that loss. And I want to give you glad tidings from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because maybe when a believer dies, yes, we cry. We shed tears. But as, as we shed tears, let's remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is busy welcoming them with smiles. And that's the reason why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in an authentic tradition made it a point. No one meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have shahada as their last experience. They believe in the oneness of God. They believe in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the last messenger. Unless Allah makes hellfire haram unto them. We all know that some people, Muslims, believers, die. And we are witnesses that all they have done, at least at a great percentage, at a great extent, they have done good. All you remember about them is good. All they have done is to put a positive impact within our lives. That alone is enough to put on a smile as you're shedding tears. Please, they are busy with their Lord, happy as they die. Your parent who was a Muslim, your brother, your friend who died some time ago, maybe they are not alive with you. They can't share stories with you. They can't make you laugh anymore. But just get to know that where they are, Allah is busy 
granting them with glad tidings. Don't even underestimate that. Our Lord is not unfair for someone to die, being loved by many. We all witness their goodness. And then at the 11th hour, Allah punishes them. No, at least Prophet granted us that guarantee. All we have to do is to request Allah to always guide them, to always ease the journey they have started. Allahumma gfir lahum warham. Wa'afihim. Wa'afan. Wa'wasir. Qubura'hum. Birahmatka ya arhamar rahimin. Abebi tiwa. Wabori mulamu. Ochimanyi. Chokufaje ekuli. Ebanga Allah liyakuwa deku msiku. Miaka kumineta. Abidi. Asatu. Ana. Atanu. Nkaga nsamfu kuda wagu. Echibuzo chilichimu chenja gala mpubuzi. Okakasa. Ebanga liho wanga dehelio. Ochaso gulo kuli wanga ala. Kuli wa miaka asatu. Onaweze nkaga. Kuli wa miaka atanu. Unaweze chikumi, okakasa. He chocho kachi tumala. Ngo mukiriza, no manya. Chokufa kutufu jekuli. Wobocha abusa abusa. Allah ya tuwe nsonga luwa chokufoko wekuli. Tuli mbisera. Ngo mtu ya looza. Uloku bayi na senti. Nga yetu usako chaya gala. Akola chaya gala. Netusoka na kufune ngombo. Tobulambu wa chisera. Tuonone. Allah ya tuwe nsonga. Mkuroani netalimba. Audhu billahi na shaitani rajim. Alladhi khalaka almauta. Walhayata. Liyabeluakum. Ayyukum ahsanu amala. Nisongalwa chobula muwebuli. No kufanga wekuli. Chibelenga cha kugezesa. Elifa bachimanyi. Kuwa mtu wafa. Biba biwede. Newo bote gedenti afude. Echo chima labu mazingo mukiriza. No teleza. Tulabani ana teleza mirimoji. Yebu lile no kufo kuo. Te wali wa mtu. Aja kuwi la disi ya nabi. Nga nabi atu kubiliza. Tu itilize nyo. Okujukiro kufo kuo. Kupange biyo kui gabi nji. O mtu ata abu lili lio nakufa. Anya na kubu lili da. Te tu inabi gambo bigenda kubu lili da. Ochi use. Wabulu umana wea kufako. Ibele somo. Muzade wea kufako. Oswaleko. Kumanye. Tientandi kwa ye yoku teleza. Mkwano guo. Nge miaka mwaina jejimu. Nenga tachari wo. Ofune somo. Yoku teleza. Singo kufako nukwari mikono jafe. Na uo chimanyi. Mwini mwa bantu wa batandi fude. Uluwe bilu unji. Yetu wafunamu. Haba hatu wabono ni fuwebali. Haba hatu wabala luwebali. Haba hatu wabalu wade. Ngabali mukoma. 
we bali ngane we yandi food day kiso bolo tegele ke kamangu era singa wa ino buyinza obusala wa ani afa ani asigala wandi baddo no nyiza mu bantu abatu alo bulambu no bwensi for granted na ya allah salawo na atwala gwa ya gadde ero mukiriza akaungezi ko lwa lero njagala negumyenga nawe we kugumya omuntu yenne ali akuvuddeko na musira munafe mukiriza ukabanga mungu olikamu kubanga nabbi wa fe muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yatugumia kuba yachimanya omuntu wa kuvako chiruma wabata nakuva ako ne chikuruma agena kuva ako chikurume nenda bi yatugumia ti alloyo ya salaona atwala gwa ya gadde ngabo abamukozi wa milimo mirunji tubadde tumuganyulwa mu kitufu ne allah muita asobolo muwe mpera ye asanyuke yesonga lwati nabbi wa muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya tutegeza mu hadith ngageza ko tuka kasa tibogeza ko nolowoza ti allah akoze ensobi okutwala omuntu gwo singo okwagala jukiranga aya ya allah egama mu qurani asa an takrahu shay'an oyizo okweta mu ekintu olwembera je kigendo kuyisa ham wa huwa khairul lakum nenga che sirunji jori wa asa an tuhibbu shay'an oyizo okwagala ekintu omuntu waberewo nga mulamuru berera nenga mukubera okwe muyinzo okubera mu ekitali kirunji allah na mtu ala mangu allah maliza ayanga tegeza wallahu ya'lam allah ya singo kumanya to ina ansa zekyo wantum la ta'lamu fenga abantu tetumanyi lwacha to ala abantu betuganyulwamu nga abantu babogera ko birunji byerere naleka abantu be bajulira abantu abasinga obunji ntibono onefu tetumanyi allah ya singo kumanya lwacha to ala muzaddeo ngaya kuwerera akoze kinene nnyo okulaba ngo oli muntu na mtu alango omweta agira ddala tetumanyi allah ya singo kumanya lwacha twala omwana o omuto atanna kula tetumanyi ne allah ya singo kumanya echo nga bakiza tuchimanya na yenja gala tuganyulwe mu bigambo bya nabbi nga tukakasa jo muntu omukiriza bwafa obulambu no bwe dunia na abuvako tukabenga tuleka mu kubanga ne jagenze masanyu merere nabbi yatuka no kutugumya ndi allah yenyini qad harrama ala nar Yafulo muli rogo nga guli haram tegujja kuocha ku muntu ajulide ti allah aliyomu no mubaka wa aliyomu ya semba nafira ku echo okujja kongo muli otegujja mulaba tegujja mmocha oloza allah muli azamanya okujja wo muntu nga abantu abasoma mu chikumi baka kasa nti abadde muntu mulunji ne wankubadenga ina we yaserera echo chokka betu saba allahum marhamhum ay allah basasi waghfir lahum basonywe owasi quburahum ogaziye kaguri zawe allah tasobola bamuli azamanya ngabantu abo bali bakiriza ne bafanga bakiriza 
na baboneleza chimanye tijebali balabanga we wasinga okusinga jebava nsaba Allah abelenga agumya buli aviri dwako omwagalwa omuzadde obe yavibwa ako omuntu gwasinga okwagala amugumye na yamugumye nga nayo amusanyukira ko dija sinka nyewa Allah jali era musanyufu yensonga lwachi nabbi ya kitwalanga chikuru otuwo obubako obwo ngobwo ngate kyandi badde kisobose obutabitugamba aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'il almuslimina min kulli dhanb fastaghfiruhu innahu huwa at-tawwabur rahim respected brothers and sisters in islam al mahmud huwa allah wa salatu wa salam ala man la nabiyya ba'dahu i want to conclude today's sermon with three points Point number one, as a believer, please always remember that death is a fact. As you disrespect others, as you oppress others, as you disobey others, as you abuse others, please, Just at a moment remember that there is time where you won't be in position to do anything and whoever you are abusing whoever you're disrespecting are the only one that are having a chance of supplicating for you please always remember that if you do remember that it's going to help you to be a better muslim it's going to help you to be a good muslim in a society secondly always consider praying for the deceased just because they have spent 20 years down buried it doesn't mean that you forget them no don't be unfair to them at least once in a while Remember them pray for them respectively in line with the relationship you had with them and lastly please be rest assured as you die whoever is dead and they were muslim believers they believe in allah and in the last prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that alone is a factor for allah to consider granting them glad tidings jannatul firdaus i understand they might be punished if at all they are having some bad deeds but let's remember that prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam taught us that there are three options the first option is when someone is a good believer and they die on that they enter straight in paradise the second option at least allah maybe will punish them and then at the 11th hour they will enter paradise that's the second option and the third option is they will enter paradise fi mashiatillah as a result of allah's mercy so as someone dies please always remember that if they are believers that alone is a factor for allah to consider for them to enter paradise may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the shortcomings of our deceased of our beloved ones we know allah is not unfair to the level of us pleading to him to forgive them not until allah will definitely forgive them abebi tiwa muzikirize maliza kutubayo olwa lero nenso nga satu esoka jukira anti okufaje kuli 
Chikumarile okwetereza. Tewali bigambo mtu vya inza kuogela. Nebiku matiza. Ngo mtu go singo kwa agalanga kufudeko. Echo chikumarango mokeleza. No tereza. Tuchifune nge somo. Echo okubili. Tujukirenga nyo. Okusabira. Abatu vako. Oloku vamo zadeo. Amazemi yaka jijo muntana. Tomuli aza amanya. Butamu sabida. Oloku vamo kwa anoguo. Yakuso oku okufa. Tomuli aza amanya. Banga kuhita o. Nga tomu sabideko. Juki nangu okumu sabida. Kupapo tebacha asobula kwe sabida. Wabula guo okumu sabida. Chichichi asinzo okuveda. Echebe ijevali. Nechisembira yodala. Ngabuona kuwala. Sanyuka. Ngochimanyi. Nchomutu kwa afanga mukiriza. Osobulo kubango ukaba. Kubango umumi isinga. Tosobula kunyumya na ye. Na ye jukira. Ntijia genze yo. Allah yeke njini. Amwani liza. Nabi yatuka no tuigiriza. Chomutu kwa afanga mukiriza. Option esoka. Ejanaji ingrida u. Eyo kubiri. Baso kamubo neleza muko. Naira lufanyuma na aji ingila. Wabanga ya kole ebibi. Kasabanga ya limukiriza. Necho kusatu. Wenka kasiza dalanti Allah. Tagaliza mukiriza yena. Kuochewa. Aba tubajia tuko kuji ingile jana. Na inge chiba yete do kuji ingila. Kwa gala kwa Allah. Na kusasira kwe. Okakasa, umutu unga kufudeko, nga na uo mjulia, nga toli weka. Tiabade mutu murunji, nga geza kwa ukulongosa, nga chwa mjulia dako. Allah sobolo kutulia zamanya kweli. Na atakiliza duwa ya fenga, tusabye. Tallahu maghfiru lahu. Aya Allah basonyue. Waafihimu waafanuhu. Badile mu. Wabase rira. Wawase ya kubora. Gaziye ntana azabu. Wasoburo kubanga bali mbula mbwe ya gaza jibali yeyo. Zengo mtu mkakasa. Kuluwa Allah gwenzi kiliza. Nga namwe mumu kiliza. Tatu sobura sabadu wange. Kumuntu ya liyo mkiliza nga ya tuvako. Ukujia konga Allah. Amudiramu. Elana amuweja na. Tusaba Allah. Abelenga asasira. Aba tufudeko. Unakulwe gulo mkade wafi. Haji Musa. Sewava. Na tufudeko maso. Nebe eba mkubantu. Naba lana. Betu julia. Tivako zeko chivako la. Nga tuka kasa. Togo lia wa Allah kwa inzo kusinziri la. Naba weja na ye chitiwa. Njaga la mune gateko. Ngamba kakasa. Tawali yomu ntu wajia kufa. Nga inemi ni muje mirunji. Nga mukiriza. Okuja konga jagenze. Wasi nga java. Tusaba Allah. Abedenga. Agumia. Buli mtu avili duwako. Omu ntu kwa ya gala. Tusawa Allah, abedenga asasira, abatuwa maso, abedenga abadiramu, abawe empele chasi nzobu nene, eye jana, eye chitiwa. Na Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala muhammad. وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وارض اللهم عن الأربعة الخلفاء 
منهم أبو بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم اغفر أموات المسلمين اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافهم وعف عنهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسع قبورهم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وأخم الصلاة إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا